Is tech YouTube too negative? Well, it's funny because I actually sat down and shoot a completely different video, but read a couple of comments from my last video and saw this one right here from Enemeg, in, 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 this guy. And he brought up some things about me being too pessimistic. And I think that's kind of interesting because I don't consider myself to be a pessimistic person. However, I did actually cover something about this a couple of years ago here on the channel. And it made me uh, remember and watch back part of that video. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about if tech YouTube is too negative and then also look at that segment from a video I made quite a while ago. Uh, most of you did not see it because this was quite a while ago and you probably weren't subscribed. So why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe now if you're not already, hit the like button if you are subscribed and we'll get into it right after this. this, this is Players, welcome back, and for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. And today we're gonna talk about if tech is just too negative. It, I mean, it might be. As a matter of fact, let's find out. So if you were to meet me in the street and say, hey Travis, uh, love your channel, which is the first thing you should say to me, but tech YouTube is way too negative and I don't really like to watch it. What do you think? I think I would say something like I did in the last video. Is it negative? Yes, but no, but yet. Yes, but no. But of course, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. I think most of us here in the tech space uh, just love tech. We really love tech, and it's not us being negative for the sake of being negative, at least not all of us. I can't speak for everyone, I suppose. A lot of us take a lot of joy in what we do and talk about the tech that we love, but sometimes tech lets us down, and we have to let you know about it. And then there's such a strategic part of this, which, you know, I actually talked about this a couple years ago. I'm gonna show you a clip from that video, and we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that. Now, Lou talked about this in his video a little bit. I'll show you a little bit of a segment here. He read the title of this video you're like it's controversial it's intense yeah i i mean i gotta take some of the responsibility for that obviously over the years y you sort of play up the drama of this stuff is this gonna make their life better or you want to tell them to pay their rent instead to go on a trip somewhere maybe experience something Oh, you're thinking about it? What are you, what are you, you thinking deeply right now? He didn't really go into great detail, so I wanna do that. But let's talk about creators. Like, what are we doing to add to that whole toxic nature of tech? Lou talked about his titles and thumbnails and how he's looking for a balance between the negative and the positive. Well, Lou, I got news for you, buddy. If you want clicks, you gotta stay negative. Terrible to say. I've already talked about how the crowd mentality works, and if you want a crowd of people to watch your video, you gotta go negative. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that here in a minute. And it's sad to say this, I hate this, because I love being positive about tech, it's such a great thing. But if you want clicks, you gotta be negative. Which brings us to clickbait. First of all, most of you think there's a bunch of clickbait titles out there. You're both right and wrong, because you don't know the definition of clickbait. Clickbait is content whose main purpose is to attract attention and encourage visitors to click on a particular web page, or in the case of YouTube, a video. So yes, to attract attention and make you wanna click, that's what a title is supposed to do. So yes, any good video on YouTube is clickbait. Like all of them, all of them, except for the ones that don't get views because they don't know how to make a title. What you're referring to is bait and switch, where someone tells you something, you click in and it's nothing to do with that. But fans have gotten so used to saying clickbait as a way to insult the creator, just because for whatever reason they don't like what they're saying, that they kind of missed the entire point of this. They clicked it. If you thought it was clickbait, you shouldn't have clicked it. As a smaller creator, anything under a couple hundred thousand subscribers, you kind of have to take the negative spin to get any kind of views. When you're larger like MKBHD or Lou, you can be positive the entire time. So Lou can take that kind of balanced way. He'll make it a little bit less views, but he'll still get plenty of views, plenty of views. But for us trying to make it, you kind of have to go negative because that's what people are clicking. If people wouldn't click it, we wouldn't make it. That's really important. So I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back. If you stop clicking it, we won't make it. If positive videos would get more views, more engagement, we would absolutely make those. Cause all we're trying to do is get the views. Yes, we made the video so you would watch it. Yes, I made this video so you would watch it. But don't take my word for it. Let's just take a look at a couple quick videos. Uh, we can even look at some of the ones I've done. The ones where I take a negative kind of twist to them, always do well because people want to know the negative. Look at my friend Jason. He did two videos that are basically the same exact video, one showing the positive, one showing the negative, and look at the view difference. Whose fault is that? Spoiler alert, it's yours. I mean, maybe not yours specifically, but yours as the crowd. Because I guarantee you, if the other video had done well, 
he and all the other creators would take a positive spin. We love tech. Why wouldn't we? But you're only clicking on negative stuff. So yes, that adds to the toxic nature. But what are we supposed to do? Not be able to pay our rent, not be able to pay our mortgage, not be able to pay our bills because some of us are full time on YouTube. And the only way to get money is to get views. So you tell me if your mortgage, car payment or anything else, or even the food on your plate depended on it, what kind of title would you use? So when you look at it like that, especially as a business for some larger YouTubers, and you realize that there's more money on the negative side of things, sometimes you title or thumbnail a video in a specific way. It doesn't necessarily mean that the video itself even is very negative. It's funny because I think as humans, we are allowed to change our minds on things we've said in the past. And while I largely agree with what I said in that video because I said it and I'm kind of brilliant. There are of course some things that you can definitely take umbrage with and saying, you know, if you wouldn't click it, we wouldn't make it, which is demonstrably true, I think is really important. The reality is, is we can also take um, the responsibility of just making content that is not necessarily so negative slanted if we really wanted to. And maybe we don't get as many views, but maybe that's okay. I think it's interesting because YouTube tries to take a stance against this sort of things. As a matter of fact, that particular video was originally gonna be called Toxic Tech, but as soon as I made the name of the title of the video Toxic Tech, I couldn't get monetized for it. So like the YouTube bot was like not allowing me to do that. It was very interesting. So I think in some ways, even YouTube's trying to kind of battle that. For me, as someone who will consume something and purchase something, when I look up reviews, I always wanna know the negative stuff first because I wanna know whether or not I should buy something. And that comes back to human nature. You can be convinced to do something or convinced to buy something, but you're always looking for a reason not to. For example, this video, you're looking for a reason to stop watching right now. I know you are. I can see you literally through your phone. What are you doing? And if I stop being relevant to the conversation that you clicked on, you'll leave. So the strategic part tells us that we should make videos that are a little bit slanted negative because the human curiosity is to find out about things that are wrong with something. A lot of people are watching reviews to figure out if they should or should not buy something. And since not buying something is the cheaper option, a lot of times they're more likely to click that. And I think critical reviews are absolutely necessary for tech YouTube to contain. You have to have those things, especially if there's a product that comes out that's not very good. I have several of those videos where I found a product and I just straight up didn't like it. When I was early in my YouTube journey, I actually had a hard time saying negative things about products, especially ones that were sent to me. I didn't wanna say bad things. I didn't wanna be seen of that negative as that negative guy. And I'm not, I'm not a negative person in general, but if you're gonna go out and spend your money on something, especially some of the tech I'm talking about, which is you know rather expensive, I gotta tell you all the things, good and bad. Sure, I would love to just get you hype about every single piece of tech that's out there, but it's just, not possible. There's some real problems with some of these things out here. I'll give you an example. This is kind of a small example. I've been doing a lot of these lights around the uh, around my uh, little studio here. And this one right here is an inexpensive kind of cube thing that you put together. Uh, it turns out the little remote that you use to turn the light on and on with, off with turns the lights on and off of my PC. So because I have RGB on my PC, I can't really use that remote when it's on and this is on. That's a very small thing, but if I neglected to tell you that and you're an RGB lover like I am and you have an RGB computer, you're gonna wonder why I didn't mention that. Conversely, if I just harp on that the entire time, then there's people out there that will say, well, I don't have an RGB computer. This doesn't, this isn't relevant to me. Why are you mentioning it? So it's kind of darn if you do, darn if you don't. But in some instances, myself and other people tend to rely more on the negative side just because when these companies try to charge us money, something that we have to work hard for, we should expect the best, or at least something that is the same as what the packaging said it was. And if it isn't, we want you to know about it. Is that being too negative? I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it. For me, it's just being real. And I'll freely admit that of course there's tons of negative videos on YouTube and I probably have a couple myself. But I think when you dive into things, sometimes saying something that is not necessarily positive should not be seen as negative. And I know that that right there sounds like the exact opposite of what is actually happening when you say something that's not positive, but you can be neutral. The reality is, is not every single thing is a critique. If I say an iPhone is awesome, I'm not saying that Android is not. And a lot of people, for whatever reason, seem to feel that that is the case, that a non-inclusion of something means that you're saying the opposite about it. And I can only speak for myself, that's just not the case. I have no problem telling you if something is terrible. Really, I don't. Uh, and if that means that I'm a negative tech YouTuber, then I suppose it is what it is. But one thing you'll never have to do is question whether or not I'm giving you the truth. But I would love to hear what you think. Tell me in the comments below, is tech YouTube too negative or do you actually appreciate that when you're watching your videos? 
And I have some other videos I've done just in the last two days. You need to go watch these. They're really good. And I'll see you next time. Peace and love.